Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about my Helinox table. When I started shopping for a table, the whole purpose was something that I can cook on. Uh, have a flat level surface, maybe do a little cutting or whatnot. And, and I thought that was going to be about it. I ran across this one on Amazon. It's made by iCLIN. Uh, it meets one of the major requirements I have when I purchase equipment. That means it's got to be 16 inches or less. And I'll show you why here in a second. And, and this fit the bill, quick, easy, get delivered. So I picked it up and it was okay. Uh, then I realized it has a very low profile. And while sitting in a, a camp chair and, and I have a Helinox camp chair, it was really low. So I was always bent over trying to do something. And I, I wanted to be a little more comfortable. So I started looking at other table options and I ran across this Helinox one. I am a fan of their equipment. I've got their chair and I also have the cot one. So I thought, why not? I'll round off my e ox equipment and pick this up as well. So we'll take a look. First, let me show you why I chose 16 inches. So one of the biggest requirements I have on equipment that I purchase is, will it fit in my box? And if you look at the box, it looks like it's about 17 inches from the front of the seal to the back. So I use 16 inches as my mark. So the equipment that I decide has to go in, in the box needs to be 16 inches. And if we take a look at the Helinox chair, it drops right in there with plenty of room. So it fits, fits well. If you take a look at the eye climb, same thing. So in the package, although the Helinox is a little bit bigger, it still meets my requirements of 16 inches and in fitting inside my box. All right, so now we know that they fit into my hardtop box. And I will tell you that uh, the way I put the in a hardtop pan here is a little different than I put them in my soft bags, my Moscow Moto bags. But in my hardtop stuff, I, I lay them down in the Moscow motor bag. I kind of put them up and, and I, I really don't know why. That's just kind of the way it works. So 16 inches certainly works in this aspect and mode. And it also works in my Moscow motor paintings. And I plan to do another packing video since I purchased some more stuff and, and see how it works. So keep an eye out for that one. But let's take a look at this high climb table. It was Cheap and easy, I think it was 40 bucks. It all just folds out and kind of, I don't know. All right, so that's it flat. The legs are attached to it, so nothing comes apart. And you just hook in these little supports and stand it up. Okay. That's it. Uh, aluminum uh, super light I, I, I didn't notice it rattle around making a bunch of noise seemed fine but as you can tell it's got a very low profile so picture yourself sitting in your chair and then always bent over so I also used a table inside my tent uh, set a helmet on my phone on charging just keeps it off the ground and keeps moisture off of it so this one wasn't the greatest for that but it does work. So I picked up this Hewanox cot or Hewanox table. And it's made with the same type of design that all the Hewanox stuff is. So the main harness is all bungee cord, spring loaded. And, and you, you, you don't even have to think about how it goes together because it kind of assembles itself. Good quality, it's gonna match. So as you can see already, it's gonna have a higher profile than this one, right? And then we've got these two little table supports and they're bungee corded together as well. They've got a couple notches. You simply put that in on, st stretch it, not that far. Hook it in, same thing with this one. So it goes together really quick. Um, it's really light. I don't really go by weight that much. I go by what I'm gonna use it for. And I try to think through on, in every aspect, what I'm gonna use it. It's 
I'm gonna use it to cook on, I'm gonna use it to set stuff on and, and all those things. Really didn't think through on this enough, so put more thought into it and that's how I justified buying this one. So the top, it has, a, has their logo on it. It's got these little clips right here and you just snap it in and then you give it a little, little stretch here. And there you go. So assembles really well. I'm sure it's, it's gonna be fine for sitting in jet boil or whatever I wanna cook with. So it's, it's gonna work. And you can see the profile is much higher. So I don't think bending over is, is gonna be an issue with this one. It's, it's gonna be a lot more accessible from the chair. Again, my camping technique and thing is, I just, I just wanna be comfortable. I wanna enjoy myself. Everyone says camping is roughing it. Well, you start taking tables and cots and chairs and stuff and you just smooth out the roughness some, right? So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited about this purchase and I think it was money well spent, right? So, taking it apart the same way, uh, I'll, I'll show you taking it apart. You just pop these out. This folds up. It does, as I showed you, it goes in the bag real well. So no issues at all fitting it in a, a pannier. Even though I do have soft bags, I still like my hard panniers. And depending on the ride, hard panniers may be better. I, I don't know. So this is not tricky, but I mean, sometimes you think this one's through because you get all these legs in here and they start going crazy. I've had it, had it out of the bag two or three times, so maybe I'll get used to it. But yeah, that's it. So there's my Helinox chair. So if you're gonna make a purchase like this, try to think it through and make sure it's gonna work for everything that you want it to do. Again, hope you got something out of the video. Uh, if you haven't yet, like and subscribe. Keep your eye for some more videos. Got some more stuff coming. And get out, enjoy yourself, be safe. Have a great day.